Dumbo, small and befuddled, giant ears tucked away in shame, talisman of my youngest years. Treasured bracelet bedecked with blue plastic elephants. I stole it from the five and ten when I was eight years old, along with a Heath candy bar and a Clark Kent comic book, which I snuck out into the cluttered alley tucked behind Woolworth's and the Roxy Theater. Hidden, I sat with my scumbled knees pulled up, crouched on top of a pile of stones, stroking my dancing elephants, reading and eating and not going home. <laughs> Around the corner, the theater front flaunted bright posters of Dumbo, that wide-eyed little elephant whose friends could teach him that he could fly if only he believed. And I believed. Yes, I believed. This is my company, this is my place. Do what I tell you, or I'll be in your face. <laughs> I am the boss, and I'll have it my way. I have the power, just do what I say. I started with nothing, determined to last. Worked hard at weekends, expanded so fast, glob comes my baby. So I'll make demands, there's money in my pocket and power in my hands. I set up the business, I deserve what I've got. I pay you a good wage, well do I or not? So get on and work hard, get the books written up. Write down the orders, there's never enough, never enough. And then we go a little bit later on to understand what's going on with the boss. And as you can tell, he's a fairly aggressive guy. And he sings a song called My Way. <laughs> Cook the books right now, I'll do it my way. Anyhow, make my taxes very low, the IRS will never know. We'll push the product out the door, I'll keep it going more and more. Keep my taxes very low. My fiscal friends simpatico, cause money matters, not the staff. She'll take the fall, I'll see to that. They can't touch me, not the feds. Marlene can take the blame instead, and I don't care. I'll just point the finger. Point the finger. The philosophies of us corporate men means we never think about others when the system's down, we hear yet again, we just point the finger. We just grab our loot, we don't give a hoot about the workers who have the work to do, and then if I bray, they will stay all day when I point the finger. What's the game? It's fine. Who to blame? When the networks crash, we're off in a flash, for the staff will work. I know they won't shirk, although we won't linger. We won't linger, we'll just point the finger. And then we go a little bit further on and we find that um, towards the end there is a transition to understanding that it's not about my company, but it's about our company. This is our company, this is our place. This is our company, this is our place, we're working together, having a blast. Globcom is over, we forget about the past. We're learning a new way. Fun is the plan, there's money in the bank now. And we understand that company matters. Company matters, it's more than just a job, you know, when company matters. Thank you. The news, the views, the emails, and nothing to be done. Powerless in the hands of fate, mighty fingers pulling the strings, making the puppets dance, prance, glance right and left before crossing the street, take care with the feet, and walk on the sidewalk. Is there a God benign caressing, overseeing the screaming birth of the next moment, and the next? Or is it a simply a random spin of the wheel each time, is there a reason, a rhyme, or does the action simply dictate the reaction? My mind is full of questions, the answers to which I cannot expect, given the nature of what I wish to know. 
The divine ineffable waits in the wings, holding the playbook. On stage, the players stumble through their parts, never knowing whether this is a rehearsal or for real. Of presence, do you think I may stand a chance before my bell tolls late one dawn to know of my own conditions why and of solitude and my thirst for grace and of commitment, compassion, of companionship? Shall I know my others before ever knowing myself as I stand as still as I am able I hope that life shall indeed catch me, shall catch up with my fleeting soul while such solace desired, heart-filled pain of sorrow. Shall ever it be told for just one to hear, to absorb into realms beyond, beyond this gravely state, that which remains suspect of life lasting, condition surviving, by fortitude, by mere insistence. Of truth, blank pages scattered before me, presented as prescribed, as doctrined, raising hope within that I too shall begin as in an instant, perpetually, eternally. Of impermanence, trails, trials this life, this journey, always far beyond earthly measure, always beyond, beyond this life as it shall, by grand design, diminish, relinquished by time. Thank you. When you meet a toddler, they often seem so sweet. Chubby cheeks and laughing eyes look so cute, you want to keep them. What you may not realize is that you need to feed them and french fries and broccoli, all they want to eat. French fries and broccoli. Cheerios, frozen peas, sunshine and moonbeams. Surely you can live on these. I've done my best to tempt you with many a tasty treat, but French fries and broccoli, all that you will eat. Buy a book of recipes to please the picky palate. Carefully arrange the food, make sure it doesn't touch. However great your effort, doesn't matter much. There's nothing you can do, nothing you can do. Well, you've hardly touched your dinner. I can't believe that's all. You need, need more protein to grow up strong and tall. But food won't make you taller on the floor or on the wall. French fries and broccoli, Cheerios, frozen peas, sunshine and moonbeams. Surely you can't live on these. I've done my best to tempt you with many a tasty treat, but French fries and broccoli, all that you will eat. French fries and broccoli, Cheerios and frozen peas, sunshine and moonbeams, surely. You can live on these, I've done my best to tempt you with many a tasty treat, but French fries and broccoli, all that you will eat. 
french fries and broccoli all that you will eat thank you for me it's the sound of peepers those rampant mud emerging amphibians bent on finding and reproducing their kind insistent as the snowdrops and crocus popping through the last patches of subliming drifts, ferocious as the hunger of winter birds returning to their eastern roosting grounds on a wing and a prayer. For my father and his father, it was finding the first green shoots of wild garlic and tender dandelion and chicory, bitter loveliness on the tongue, sweet relief of the inner landscape a brightness of spirit as warm and welcome as the promise of the impendent summer sun. Please, God. <laughs> this one small voice in a sea of noisy lies, buffeted by waves that laugh at the folly of fighting the might of the tides. This one voice matters as the flap of a butterfly's wing in Brazil matters to the mighty storm half a world away. Whisper if you must, but speak the truth into the folds of the lie. Smooth out the creases and write new stories to be told into the folds. What slips over the tongue matters in the hearts and minds of men and babes. This voice is all you need to right the wrongs of deceit, long spun and blindly believed. This voice of mine, of yours, of ours. Join together, unravel the lies, and wind the truth around hearts and souls, as together we tell a tale of love as we undo the folded lie. Where the Ohio meets the Mississippi in the shadow of the earth pyramids of Cahokia, the cops swarm and the people warn, this is not right, and yes, they put up a fight. When justice is served but the masses remain unnerved, the system crashes. The same old song appears to be playing, pleads for staying calm, no need for alarm. But this time the words have gone awry, they no longer apply. And meanwhile, folks are rearranging the lyrics. Every life is precious. No one can be shot down on this land by those who profess to protect. Who are they protecting? Who are they selecting? There is need for alarm. Facebook feed a rumble, thoughts and prayers tumble. The US, a news flash jumble, exposed. Worldwide headlines fly. Everyone else in the world seems to get it. It is not time to forget it. It is time to get it. America can no longer pretend it is the land of the free and of opportunity. It is the land of rules and laws for the entity who wish to remain key, keeping those in their place, the displaced, to stay in that space. That is a message in this meeting of rivers, the mighty Missouri from Yellowstone, joining the Mississippi, and then meeting the wide Ohio from the Appalachian Mountains. Together, this area, a large Y heading down to the Gulf Coast Delta, takes up a large part of our continent, the lifeblood river of our mother, the earth, on the North American continent. She is crying tears of compassion, of regret, of sorrow. All of her children are important to be here now. All must be treasured, the wrongs resurrected, and those bad cops sequestered. Thank you. Snow does have sound, like a blossom opening in the sun. It can only be perceived by the heart, not by the ear. And the sound of the sunrise is equally loud, a symphony, a bursting of song which can fill the heart with joy, like a newborn child. Thank you.
So many years, I lost count long ago, since we could look into each other's eyes without you forcing some funny face. The truth lay on that broken line of sight directed like some painful joke, and funny was a dam, weak against our tears. Better for you to intercept eye contact with your magazine and proclaim with full sincerity that you were listening. As I was walking through the wood, I met the man beneath the hood who said to me, your time has come, your deeds have all been done. Although you never quit the fight, you never seem to get it right. I said, just give me one more chance. Have you ever seen me dance? <laughs> I clicked my heels and pirouette while thinking of a girl I met who longed to be my one true love. Alas, I wasn't ready yet. I spin into an arabesque which really puts me to the test. But those sad eyes distract me so I can't remember what comes next. So desperately I look around. I leap, I fall, I kiss the ground. But somersault back to my feet, then bow and wave my jester wand. The grim reaper shook his head. Although you never quit the fight, you never seem to get it right. I said, just give me one more fling. Have you ever heard me sing? I sing a song of sixpence with a pocket full of innocence and a history of hopeless dreams strung out like a picket fence. I sing with soul, I sing with ease. My voice goes winding through the trees. A mockingbird picks up the tune. I'll take requests now, if you please. I think about that girl next door and whether she'll return once more. I waltz right through the last refrain. Now I'm ready for my first encore. The Grim Reaper shook his head. Although you never quit the fight, you never seem to get it right. I said, uh, just give me one more go. Have you ever caught my show? I'll do anything for you. Perhaps a ribald joke or two. No need to be so grim, my friend as I pull a rabbit from my shoe. My wand becomes an ivy vine, which I water with a glass of wine and watch it grow 14 feet long. Now grab an end. What's yours is mine. You're not at all like what they say. The reaper turns his face away. I'll sew these bells upon your hood. Just let me live another day. The Grim Reaper smiled and said, uh, Although you never quit the fight, you never seem to get it right. But I like you, fool. You make me weep. So I'll take you in your sleep. <laughs> Thank you. When you wake to the thick, white quiet, don't despair. When you know it will take hours and hours to remove the two-foot and still-falling shroud, don't shy from it. Before visualizing the entire driveway clear and you Sailing out in your car, open the garage door. From the dry floor, scoop up one shovelful and fling it where you will not drive or walk. 
fling it in the air. When after a half hour, only a small square of black top has emerged and you have so much more, start singing. Yankee Doodle, maybe. You have earned one feather. Before you start crying, you have no one you can call to help. Take out an audiobook. War and Peace, maybe. <laughs> or Catch 22. Something that will do the shoveling for you. When the plow truck driver tells you to get out of the way and undoes your last hour's work, don't waste your shaking fists. Return the snow to the road when the truck is gone. <laughs> When your back starts to feel the strain of the shovel, mount your snowshoes, be a piston, float and sink. Make troughs alongside your shovel area, somewhere to throw the snow, a trap to catch it when it blows. Thank you very much. Mother, one more thing. Tires slap on the wet street, the snow's still deep in the yards, winter's a tired fighter draped on its opponent. Storefronts and houses close off my view. I look to the gray sky where a pattern of birds wavers left then right. I'm numb with waiting, it happens every year. Life needs to be endured. Pinned to earth, I feel all creation groaning. Something's pressed against the juggler. It's a laying on of hands that will kill or cure us. Throw, throw, throw. Throw words down onto paper. I'll throw words like a man in a mob throws stones at a sinner. Like middle school boys in a snowball fight, I will pack and hurl as hard and as fast as I can, not caring who gets hit. I'll throw words onto paper like Hurricane Bob stung me with sand when I wanted to see what it was like to be on a beach during high winds. Like the big unit hitting a pigeon flying in front of home plate, my words will explode something before they even get to their target. My words, my words, my words, 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 words do break bones. I'll break your bones with my words. I'll crack your skull with the pleasurable sound of crack, skull, crack. K -k -k. Not KKK, but the sensual blend of k and sk and the lull of all. Sound is power. Words are power. I love you, not. You are a hateful, dirt-looking plebeian. Words are power. I do love you. In a snow-filled winter, you are the memory of sunshine caught in the cups of red tulips. You are the warm sand under my feet and the salt water swirling around them. Words create feelings. I hope you die in your sleep tonight. I hope you live and find your way to make the world a better place. Words are powerful winds. Words are pebbles making ripples in a pond. Art is rocks. Make art, throw rocks. <laughs> Just one thing on my bucket list. To feel your hand, to hear your voice when it's time to face the dark. Thank you. <laughs> Two red-tailed hawks Ride a thermal above our cul-de-sac. Gray underbelly, spangled black. They appear a matched set, indistinguishable from this earthbound angle. Though neither of us here below can claim with any truth to know their story, we nevertheless stand with shaded gaze and wrestle in ancient anthropomorphic longing to read within their circumscribed pattern of 
heart real reunite. An aerial pas de deux, a waltz of breeze and wingspan. The idealiz idealization of this occasion on the downslope side of a cold, cold season. Ah, to cast reason to the wind and give full sway to folly. To pretend we believe they are in love. Pretend just for today that they are as we did once dream to be, enraptured, forever dancing. Thank you. After the first snowfall, the snow, like frosting on the cake, all smooth and white with peaks that shimmer, until the plowman cuts the rolling hills, all is quiet on his gracious plate. All lies quiet, sun-drenched, clean, shadows on the brightness splay, till on the distant road beyond the lake, the yellow blade is seen, the crack of metal, the scraping herd, then furrowed is the sleeping land, blackened is the icy edge, and furrowed is the brow of this grieving nature lover. Part two. After the second blizzard, fifth storm, seventh ice dam. <laughs> Feck the snow. <laughs>